What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Comment Sense Graphics. And you guys already know what day it is today. It is Annie Monday, the day where I draw anime for you guys. And today I got a little special treat for you guys. It's a Christmas related anime thing. Uh just do this character. It took me some time, so that's why I didn't draw a character last week for Annie Monday. I drew nothing for last week at Monday, so sorry about that because I was busy working on this character because it's a it's kind of a difficult, dif uh, difficult pose. I was drawing it over and over again on paper, trying to figure out how to do it, and then eventually I finally figured out a way how to draw it. And then this is what the end result is, and I added a bunch of cool background stuff. I usually don't add a lot of background detail, but this one I want to do something a little different. So this one took me a little bit longer to draw, and once I finally had it figured out, um, it came easy to me. But other than that, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to jump right out the gate and say that this image was really difficult because of the body pose, uh, mainly because of the legs. It's a like I'm looking down at the character. She's kind of like jumping through the air and kind of like fluttering, if you will. Uh, you can see her legs looks really weird. It looks really alienated, really foreign, and it's just something that I don't usually draw. And so that's why I took a lot of time for me to trial and error it because she looks like she's frolicking, you know, in a Santa get up and stuff. And as usual, I'm following the typical Domin style where I use all of my shapes and things to draw my character because if I don't, it'll just be a whole different type of thing. Um, that's my process, my method to my madness, and I say it a lot. Really use your bare bones. Really figure out how your character is and just feel around with it. That's what I did. It took me a long time uh, just to be able to figure out how I want my character to be, how I want the clothing to be. Since there's so much movement with this character in this image, I have to figure out what's going to be hidden by her skirt and what's not going to be hidden. And luckily, part of her leg, this is where I just kind of said, forget it, where I just covered up her right leg almost completely entirely just because I was getting tired of drawing it over and over again because I couldn't figure it out. And this is what I came out with, and it came out very nicely. And please do not forget to clean up your character as you go. As you've seen there, I just started deleting a lot of the lines just to make sure it's more clean so I don't get confused of what is overlapping what because body parts in an image like this, they're definitely overlapping each other, like how her right leg is kind of covered covering up her left leg and how her right arm is covering up her back and how her chest is covering up her left arm and things like that. You got to keep in mind about stuff like that when you're creating your characters. You have to keep in mind what's in the way of what before you start going into detail. But speaking of detail, we are now about to get into the detail phase where I pull out the red pen and I start doing some red work. And Usually this phase is very simple and very easy. It's very straightforward where I'm just starting to add more details where things I think might look better. I might add some creases to the clothing. I might add some jagged lines here and there. Pretty much just like smoothing out the lines of the rough sketch and just feeling what I think looks good. And usually when you're drawing something like this, you do not want to just go ahead and just draw over it real quickly. What you want to do is you want to take pauses here and there just to look at the image of what you're drawing just to figure out what you're drawing. So if you see me take a lot of little pauses here and there in the video, then that is pretty much what I'm doing. I'm just looking at the image and trying to figure out what will might look better here at this, my, this intersection versus other pieces. Do I want her boot to be really smooth or rugged or just a basic style boot? Do I want to add more detail? Do I want to add more creases here or there? Do I want to add... Uh, like creases around her chest area or do I just want to leave it simple and this image I wanted to make it more simple more streamlined versus uh, jagged so like usually whenever you see like a Santa suit and you look at the white parts um, like the cuffs and the other things and stuff like that it's usually pretty jagged but I want to make mine smooth and you'll see me struggle with this with her left boot I decided to make it a little jagged on the boot because it's down there a little rough but instead I just make it smooth at the end of the day and really just take your time I'm gonna throw in my own in style and throw in holding her some some uh badoms i think they're called from mario and just uh adding some flair here and there because you want your character to show out from all the other artists in the world because there is a bazillion artists all drawing a similar type of thing here and there maybe they're using a different art format or whatever but you really want yours to stand out and uh it's difficult in a world full of artists because artists are everywhere if you look on youtube you type in like how to draw something you'll see a bazillion different people doing tutorials and stuff and how do you make yours different and more unique versus the other person i have no idea i'm just trying to do my own thing so if mine is unique you know versus everybody else then cool uh that's that but uh, i try to make mine be unique by adding its own flair here and there for example in this one i'm adding a little bit of like a mario twist with the badams and i'm gonna have the little ghost thing behind her and then i'm gonna draw some humongous ornaments in the back and then some panda looking creature on the top and 
that just really adds its own emphasis to it versus anybody else out there. And that's kind of the point of being an artist in 2020 is trying to you know, stand out versus the crowd because the market is extremely oversaturated full of artists right now and it's tough. But we are now winding down to the end part of the image where I finished on the character. I'm gonna draw in a couple little extra little characters in the background. For example, the little ghost thing right there, that's now drawn in. I'm gonna have another character up top. Then I'm gonna draw big giant ornaments and that's gonna be pretty much it. But it is now announcement time before I speed up the video like I always do. So, it is now becoming the end of the year 2020. This will be my last Annie Monday of the year here on December 21st. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. This one took me a lot of time, a lot of effort. I love this image. Um, it was just really cool. It came out, looked really good to me and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, as much as I did, right now this is uh, my background image for my computer and it's just awesome. But for the end of the year, I'm going to post one more video and it is going to be a like a rating, I guess. I'm going to post like a top 10 uh, illustrations and drawings that I did of the year. going to have 10 different images out of everything I drew. Uh, it, you know, it, it is COVID-19 this year and it's huge. I had a lot of spare time on my hands and so I was able to just really work on my craft. And I was just drawing. I first started out drawing... Um, people you know tracing over them and then I started going into anime and then just drawing all my own anime and my anime characters have just been improving and improving and improving over time since the whole beginning of COVID as you guys seen um, you guys can definitely tell the type of quality my images have increased to and that's what practice really gets you it really does help you out a lot in your own craft and I definitely worked on my craft this year and I plan on to so expect that top 10 images that I drew for 2020. I drew a crap ton this year. Uh, everything from subtle characters to fully blown out characters to a couple self portraits and things and just having a lot of fun. And you just gotta really work on your craft. But this is gonna be the last video for Annie Monday for the year. Hopefully you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all my artwork for 2020. I definitely did. I enjoyed you guys watching it. But you know it is. It's your boy D Dizzle Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. And I'm going to speed the video up like I always do. And have a happy new year. Your boy out.